Hi, flutes. This is a little video to help you guys out on evening at the symphony, the high part at measure 43, okay? So at measure 43, I know the notes look a little high, but you guys will be great. The first note's gonna be B flat, which we play thumb one and then one. It's easy if you, it's easiest if you play it one and one with your pinky. So you're gonna go B flat, then all you have to do is put this hand down for F. That's pretty awesome, right? You just put those fingers down. So we're gonna go at 43, B flat, F, lift and back up, B flat, F, lift and back up, B flat, F, B flat. Now we're gonna go to D. So these fingers that we've been lifting up, we're gonna put down, but we're gonna bring up our first finger and our other first finger. So the high D is just two, three, and your thumb in the back. Okay, now we're gonna play that really, really high note at the end, and that's a high F. And high F is gonna be thumb, one, three, one, three. And if you look, both of your middle fingers are sticking up. Make sure you kind of curve them down, all right? So 43 and 44, you're gonna play like this. Okay, let's do that slow, note by note. And when you go up to that high note, you've got to really, really um, close your, it's called your aperture, the little hole in your face. So close your aperture up a little bit, almost like you're spitting a sunflower seed or a watermelon seed off your tongue, like, because if you just try and do, it's not going to come out, right? So you got to. Okay, and it's okay if it pops out a little bit. We rewrote it up the octave because otherwise we couldn't hear it at the lower volume, okay? Then at 45, you're gonna play a high E flat. And high E flat is easy to remember because it is literally everything. It is every key. One, thumb. Two, three, pinky. One, two, three, pinky, okay? And that's the high E flat. Then back down to C, E flat, everything, C, everything, C, A, C, F. Okay, so that's how that whole part goes. Let's try that nice and slow, just 45 and 46, starting on the high E flat. Remember, everything down. Now let's do, and you can rewind this and practice as many times as you need to. Now let's try and do 43, 44, 45, and 46. Nice and slow. Here we go, starting on the B flat. Everything. feel pretty good let's do a little bit faster one two three. all right so again you can rewind this play through it a couple of times with me and get really comfortable now, where it says mezzo forte, that's going to be measure 47. And at 47, we've got this funny little rhythm where it goes one, and then we have a little rest. So it's almost like you want to play that first note like a staccato quarter note. So you want a little bit of space between counts one and two. So like, okay, like that. So you're going to go... And then on the end of three, so it'll go one, two, 
and four and one and two and four and one and two and four and one and two and four and one. Oh my goodness. It's the same rhythm every time in a row, right? It's crazy. It's just the same rhythm over and over again. So when you play it, you're going to start on the B flat. So B flat, B flat, D, C, B flat, B, A, A, C, E flat, everything down. Then back to A, C, B flat, B flat, D, C, B flat, B flat, A, A, C, E flat, A. Oh my goodness. You guys, it's like the same thing twice. Cool, right? Let's play that. So when you play it like this. So really, you just have to play 47 and 48 two times. And the only difference is at 49, they add in that high C coming down to the C, B flat, B flat. Then if you look at 51, 52, 53, and 54, hmm, those look familiar. Oh, they're exactly the same as 43, 44, 45, and 46. What? Yes the same. So if you can play it once, you can play it twice. So let's play that. And then that's 55. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to play from 43 to 55, nice and slow. And remember the nice thing about videos guys is you can rewind and you can play it again and you can keep practicing. All right, let's try it. Here we go. One, two, measure 43. All right, hope this helps you guys. You've got this, break it up and practice it in little pieces and you're gonna be fantastic.